Okay, I'm back, and um, I uh, got this filled so that it's nice and rounded at the top, and it's just a tiny little, a little um, flat spot, but it's barely noticeable. But you know what? Babies have uh, soft spots or flat spots on their their heads um, when they're newborn, but um, it's I can hardly detect that. But that's again where I'm going to show you um, an example by looking at this doll's head and see how it's got that heavily rooted area. Um, if I can pull this back, you can see the mount that that machine went back and forth, back and forth, over and over again. And so if you removed all the hair off your doll to give it, you know, to do what I did, um, you're going to have a really bad perforated bunch of holes here. And I'm just amazed that I was able to like um, patch that and paint it and you can't even detect um, and the very teeny tiny little holes that you see if, if I pull this hair back see see all those plugs and they're definite holes and you can barely see the holes because I filled the holes it was almost like well it's like repairing a vinyl item um, and yeah, it's just smooth and you can hardly detect that. And it's camouflaged with the hair painted, but I can always go back and re-root some doll hair in here um, and be just like the original. I am just holding off because that's how I do things. I wanna give it some time and thought whether or not I wanna do that with this one. So, um, I have, uh, if you didn't watch the beginning, I, I filled this doll with, um, the poly plastic pellets and I only used filler to block it off in the limbs, but we've got some stockings with just two bags of poly plastic pellets. And I, I'm, I'm. I'm debating whether I want to shove polyfill in the tummy or anything right now. I'm just, when it's dressed, I want to be able to look, just have it similar to the size of the original, not overstuffed, and the beanbag type body, and that'll support the head. Put that on there. She'll be able to sit just fine because of all these plastic pellets. It's like a beanbag chair. That's what I'm trying to set, describe. So I want to show you that um, this was a long, had a red that was all like falling apart, broken, but this was the original like squeaker that was inside here. And um, when I find, uh, well, not a squeaker, a mama crying thing, um, but I'm sure it probably squeaked <laughs> as it got older. Um, I will probably find a crier or something maybe and put it inside, but it's not that important to me. This is what goes inside the neck to um, give it some support when you're going to, like they used a wire and I'm not using a wire and I'll tell you why. Uh, the wire can get rusty and ruin the casing here. And I'm just not gonna put an, another wire back in. Um, I am gonna put this wood back in the head here. I have enough filler and I'm going to put this in here. I think that's how it went. Anyway, as long as it's, I thought it went like this. 
This is what I remember. Okay, it went like this. Because it, it helped the vinyl not be squishy around the neck. We use um, PVC type um, neck rings. And if you have trouble, you can always like use a hair dryer and heat th heat things up. But um, I'm going to just see what I can do here without the use of the hair dryer. There we go. The reason why they put the hole there is because the more you stuff inside a ha head, um, it needs a little air hole to let some of that pressure of the 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 air to squish out. Um, to be able to stick something more inside. It's hard to describe, but that is very helpful to have that little hole there. Okay, so let's put you off to the side here, just like that. And I'm going to, I'm going to work on the back here. I'm going to repair this. Looks like it I'm going to try and repair it from probably the inside out since it's open. And I'm going to choose a thread that would be closest to your body to be less noticeable. I don't know about you, but I have um, so many spools of thread and, you know, they sell organizing things for them, but I just find I have a big old drawer and... Um, I use tape so that they don't unroll because that's when it gets to be a mess. Um, I normally like to use the stronger like coat thread for things, but this is such a delicate little area. I don't want a thick bulkiness first. I just want to first mend where the fabric uh, tore a little there. And there are some bodies that are that if you get a doll and it's already been patched up a zillion times. Um, I've been really lucky that this doll here and that doll does not have that issue. Whoever had them before really took good care of them. Other than it got aged and, and dirty. So I'm going to try and bring this camera down so you can watch what I'm doing and I don't have the most supple moist looking fingers you're gonna see some dry skin because I wash my hands so much to keep the any oils or moisture from getting on the vinyl that I if I'm going to moisturize my hands I'll do it before bedtime or something but during the day frequent hand washing um, you're not going to see pretty, dry, uh, moist looking fingers from me. Um, so I was wearing full gloves, I think my very first video, because out of embarrassment, because I'd see people with just the nicest looking fingernails and hands, you know, doing their tutorials. And I felt like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I have hands like that, you know? And I, I just, these are hard working hands. I even work in my yard and that's part of it. So let's mend this up here. Kind of doing a little cross stitch. going to talk anymore right at this point so I can focus on my work. My dog is like, somebody must be at the door.
What is it, Sherman? So this um, was a dining room that we never used. So if you think you don't have a room for a craft room, think about your dining room. Do you, how often do you use it? Can you set up um, a table for company when the times you do have it? Company over for a dining room table. Um, how important is it for you to have a dining room or would you get better use of having a um, it turned into an office or craft or art room think about that or even a playroom when my son was little our first house the dining room at first was a playroom so they didn't have all the toys in the living room it worked out great and then when he got older, I turned that into an art studio after not having... Now, my mother-in-law was disappointed because she always felt that it's improper. You need to have a dining room. And we just enjoyed like being out on the patio if we had friends over or something. We set up chairs and tables or something like that. We didn't really want to entertain in the house um, with your formal dining room. I just am not a formal dining room person so i was going to um get some cord um instead of a cable tie um i'm not sure i'm gonna get some cord and i have some right over here see my little setup by my door there Sherman, you gonna peek through the door There you are. You can't come in here. This is your little baby gate. Oh, and let me show you this. I'm going to hang this right here. This is my sister does amazing artwork. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I'm going to hang it on the wall here. But um, I was trying to decide where I wanted it in here, and I'm going to put it on this wall. And this was, I'm going to let you see this. This was our dining room table. It has an expansion thing where it pulls out and two go in here. This table was like 10 feet long. And this is the shorter version. And this is the buffet table uh, sitting on top in the back. And I have all my threads and things like that and different things in here. But we are either going to just sell this this dining room <laughs> set and get something else in here for me um, or I want to paint it I don't like this dark brown look um, I'd like to paint it um, like a white white color or I like this this color this pale teal um, that's if I keep it I'll change the knobs and maybe even take these out completely and put baskets would like look nice if I had baskets that I just lightly pulled out and I could easily put in and forget the drawers up here and then I know change my storage system a little bit but this has worked great for you know sewing and got my serger and everything here so um, I have cording right here and I I do have I have another room, art room, that has more of these things in there, but I do have this, but put it like this here. I'm thinking of using my cording. These are like, they snap and uh, stack, they're stacking 
type of storage. So here's here's my cording that I have. So it's funny, I've been hiding what my room looks like to you guys and I just decided, you know what, I need to show. So you're like, probably, a lot of people are probably wondering, what does her room look like? What does it look like in there? So there's some options here. You can use a stretchy cord and feed that through, which I need to get my little uh, thing I'm gonna feed that through. This is very similar to what's on an American Girl um, doll or Bitty Baby doll um, cording. And after it goes through, you do need to tie a little knot so it doesn't unravel. But I like this um, to feed that through. I need to get... I save it right here in my little Mary Inglebright cushion. It's... Where are you? It was under the cushion. There you are, right here. You gotta know where you put your stuff. And don't let anybody else clean and organize your room or you'll never be able to find anything. So yeah, this works for feeding it through, so. If you ever need just a little bit of anything you see and you don't want to buy a whole roll, um, just, you know, contact me through um, my website. I You can hit the uh, mail button there and ask me. I can set it up for you to buy. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about how this is brain a little bit right here because I can mend that at the very end. I just want to be able to get this through the regular opening. Looks like it's folded over a little bit. Putting a, a cording in here means that I, if I'm not satisfied with how I filled it, I don't have to try and cut. For one, uh, this Vogue tag I may not put on right away or I'll put it down below on the bottom here. So can still have access they put that right there at the top which I don't know why they did that it needs to be down here um, if I put that down there and stitch it on with thread instead of glue the way they did it then then either I or the next person has access to the inside without losing this label I think that's so critical have that label the other way to know that this is a, a Eloise Wilkins doll is um, right here. It says E. Wilkins with it. Copyright 1960 right there. Um, yeah. That's how you know. There are some lookalikes that aren't even close to what the actual one is. You can definitely tell it's not an official. I mean, when these got so popular um, in the 60s, there was other companies trying to make, um, this is similar but not identical. They just were trying to make the chunky cheek look baby. This is the uh, Eloise Wilkins um, Baby Deer book. And I'm going to put a photo right here of of my doll right here. It used to have somebody's scribbled name, and I just didn't want to look at it, so I, I took that off. But other than that, the this book is so sweet and perfect. Little storybook. There's the little baby deer right there. And I have, you know, several other little books. And the Welcome Home Baby... Um, is a Vogue baby. It's not an Eloise Wilkins uh, doll. It's a Vogue baby. Welcome home. So don't be confused on that. Um, so, and there's different uh, makes of the Welcome Home baby. I 
hope I can get this through there. Now I know why they use the wires because it's such a tight curve. I do have a rounded, um, I do have a way to, to get this through. Now I can also use a safety pin, a small little baby safety pin and feed that through that way. Um, I guess I'm going to have to do it this way for right now and just cut it off later if I need to get into it. I thought I could feed that through, but I'm not. I don't want to poke a hole through through this uh, casing here because I couldn't get around the corner with that. So let's just do it this way. Even the plastic could poke a hole the tip. So you can want to guide that in carefully and slowly. Okay, there we go. I'm going to get this started right here. Like that. Here's the final moment. Get back like that. Now, one other thing that you can do to make your um, head rotate better is you take some clear like nail polish or clear coating of varnish right in here and because I'm videotaping I'd have to wait for that to dry and tape more later I'm not going to do it this time I can clip this off and do it later but that's how it will slide or rotate back and you know from side to side easier for you against the fabric if you put some nail clear nail polish or varnish right in the crack don't use colored nail polish you're going to ruin and maybe get it somewhere where it shouldn't be and then you're looking at that and then you've ruined the doll for the next person i'm talking very carefully clear clear nail polish right in the groove and let it dry completely so watch when I try to like turn it it's not as easy on that fabric you can't really turn it but that's how you could get more of a swivel head I'm not going to worry about that right at the moment I'm going to probably be cutting this off I'm not going to do it super tight either um, I'm just not because I'm probably going to go back when this when I'm off camera and do that so it's just going to be very loose right now. Um, and I have some special clippers. Where are you at? Here's my clippers. Just my little tool area. Where are you? It's not you. I might have left them in a different room. Here they are. These are them. Look at my containers sitting everywhere. That's how it gets messy looking. But at least I have spots for everything when I'm done. Okay, that's as tight as I'm going to go. And then you want to get, turn it at an angle where it's flat on this side. Get right up against it so you get it flatly cut like that and then you rub your finger right there and make sure it's smooth if not you take a little file like a nail file and get that really smooth so that it doesn't get caught on any of your little knitted clothes or or any or your you know it doesn't scratch you but let's put this stuff away and get you dressed little baby dear look adorable and I think I just dropped the needle somewhere where, where did that needle go okay so when you lose a needle on the carpet you take a magnet and you will be able to find the needle that you dropped on the carpet I have um, a container that I leave all my magnets and I just rub that entire container and it picks up the lost um, 
It might have just went in this container. I just don't want myself to... I'm barefoot right now. I don't want to step on it. Where did it go? Usually you want to stick your needles back in your... So you know where they're at. I know there's a missing needle somewhere, so... Are you in here? You drop inside here. Sorry guys, I need to know where that needle went. At least the general area, so I know it's not in. <gasps> there it is. I found it. Okay. Yeah, this little sucker would have went right in my foot. I'm going to put it right back like that so I know where it's at. All we're going to be set aside. I have to have a clean area. I just can't look at, at clutter. You guys might think, what is all that going on? That's not clutter. That's decor. That's the decor. You are so sweet. Let me just look at you for a little bit. Let me just look at you. Look how cute you are. Oh, are you sucking that finger again? You know what happens when you suck that finger? It turns purple. Yeah, don't suck on that finger very long. You're going to get, you're going to make it all purple. Yeah. You look, feel just wonderful. Just wonderful. I wonder how much you weigh. I have a scale. I have a scale right here and I have to set it back to this is an old fashioned scale let's put it back to that now I have a digital one that I use for shipping but we're going to use this baby scale I'm going to cover it so in case there's any I don't want any dust or dirt on you okay little baby You've got to get all your weight on there. All your weight. You sit up there. Sit up there, baby dear. Oh, you're so cute. 